Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce, and today I'm going to be talking about Sin 2 Unreal, the add-on from Epic Games to go from Blender to Unreal. And it was just released this morning at 5.45 a.m. Pacific Time, so I'm very excited about it. I have a whole other video that explains the, the add-on in a lot more detail, goes through some of the settings and, and what you can do with it and that sort of thing, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. This video will be all about setting up uh, and installing it, because there are a lot of steps. There's a lot of little, oh, well, you got to make sure you have this and you have that. And if you miss just one step, uh, it's not going to work at all. So uh, so I had to jump through a lot of hoops to figure it out. And I'm very tech savvy. So I want to make sure that you have a step-by-step -step guide to what you need to do. But first, I'm going to show you real quick what it can do. So I have Blender here on the left and I have Unreal on the right. So I have this uh, content folder here and you can see there's no assets here. Once you have it all set up correctly, all you have to do is go pipeline, export, send to Unreal, and just like that, I have this asset in Unreal. It's at the correct scale, uh, and and it's got the base texture applied, and it's it's uh, it's it's awesome. Again, I go into a lot more detail in the other video, so go check that out if you when you get a chance. And the way it works is that whatever project you have open in, in Unreal, whatever editor is open, it's going to automatically export your meshes to that project folder. So you don't have to worry about setting up a custom folder or worrying about where you're going to export these or anything like that. It's just going to know that if you have this editor open, you you want it to go to this content folder, you want it to come into this project. Uh, the other thing I'll mention real quick as well is if we just, uh, let me just add another material here. Uh, it, what's great is you can, you can once you create your custom uh, material or material instance in Unreal, you can still affect the mesh in Blender and it's not going to affect your material. So for instance, you can, so I have a decimate modifier here, so I could just take this down to low poly. I don't have to apply it. I can just go pipeline, export, send to Unreal, and see, watch, it just automatically updates. It's got the, it, can, it retains the material that we set up in Blender or in Unreal, but uh, applies the mesh changes that we've made in Blender. Um, so this is going to help uh, my pipeline personally. It's going to help my pipeline a lot, and it's something that's very exciting for for everybody, everyone from 3D modelers, uh, game engineers, to small independent studios to large studios. I think this is a really big step in the right direction for large studios. So, without further ado, let's talk about. Uh, getting it all installed. So, the first thing you got to do is you got to have an Epic's uh, an Epic Games account, which you probably already have. But if you don't, you can obviously sign up for free. Um, you also have to have a GitHub account. So, if you don't, then just go to GitHub.com, sign up for a free account, uh, install any licenses, that sort of, or, or check your email, make sure there's no confirmations you need to make, anything like that. Um, and once you have, uh, once you're logged into both, then go to the your Epic Games. So go to EpicGames.com. Go to, on the browser, and then go to your profile, and then account. And then under account, you have these different options on the side. Go to connections, and then accounts. And then here is where you have different accounts that you connect. Connect. So make sure you connect your GitHub account. You can you you select connect. It logs in through that. And then, this is very important, because I didn't figure this out at first, they send you an email and you have to open that email and uh, confirm before the next step is going to work. Um, so once you've connected your Unreal and GitHub accounts, then you can go to this link here, github.com slash epic games slash blender tools. And when you get to blender tools, um, they, they have some documentation here, they have some different uh, stuff you can do, but the main thing you need to worry about is the downloads right here. So, so don't worry about downloading the code. Just download Blender Tools, send to Unreal, download. And then you can, uh, let's see, click on this, and then download right here. So I've already, obviously I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it again. And then, um, and then we can go over to, let's go to Blender first. So in Blender, I, I normally don't go through the add-ons, but if, you, if you're not familiar with uh, add-ons, I want to just talk about it now because there are a lot of steps and I feel a lot of people from Unreal might be 
watching this uh, in the future. So I'm just going to show you real quick. So in your in Blender, you go to Edit Preferences, uh, or excuse me, Edit Preferences, and then Add-ons, and then you have to find that uh, wh what you just downloaded. Now it's important to know most add-ons you don't you actually don't want to unzip. Uh, you leave them zipped up. So I saved it here, and then this was the file I had. This is a zipped file. This is what this icon means. So I clicked this and then pushed install. And then when I did that, you get this. You can search for Unreal in your add-ons, and then you get this pipeline sent to Unreal, and you got all these options. I go over these options later in, in the other video. So uh, again, I'm not going to go through all these right now. But you want to make sure that this is all set up correct. Uh, now let's go to Unreal and look at what we need to do in Unreal to get it set up correctly. So in Unreal, there's uh, there's a few things you got to do. So <clears throat> uh, let me just go down to my notes here. Uh, all right. So in um, under settings, so open up a new project if you don't have a project. If you have an existing project you're going to work with, do that. Uh, I'm using 4.25.1, I think. But it's basically the newest version of Unreal. Um, you pl push your plugins and then you go to built in if you have any other ones you can just like built in here and then you want to do a search for script and this is going to bring up a few things so we need to let's just double check here editor scripting utilities so this one by default is off um, no I don't want to mess with this right now anyway this one by default is off so you want to make sure that you enable editor scripting utilities and you want to enable Python editor script plugin. Again, the plugin will not work at all if these are not uh, checked on. Okay, so let's just check here. It was going to prompt you to restart your editor. Go ahead and restart it whenever it, it asks you to do that. Um, all right, so then we need to go to, let's see, let me close this. And then we're going to go to settings, project settings. And in project settings, we're going to search for remote, remote execution. So remote execution. You have this Python remote execution. You have to enable remote execution. Yes, check that. Um, again, has to be checked. If this is not checked, it will not work. <laughs> all right, so let's see. What's the next one? Um, all right, so this next one I think is optional, but I it's probably really important so just take my advice and uh, and and enable it so go to edit editor preferences and then here we're going to search for CPU and then here we have this use less CPU when in background this by default this is checked on which is good usually if you're if you have Unreal minimized and you're doing something else completely you don't want to just burning up your graphics card so this is usually good to keep checked but if you're going to use the plugin the blender plugin you basically want to uncheck this because you want it to automatically send the assets over uh, we can go back into to blender and one thing that happens when you enable the plugin um, what it one thing that it does is I'll go ahead and just delete this for now we don't have to worry about it it creates three collections for you um, and so you have mesh, rig, and extras, and it sounds exactly like it is. You're going to put meshes in here. If you have rigs, they're going to go in here, and extras. I haven't really explored it. I don't know if cameras and lights and all that stuff is, is supported, but definitely meshes are. So if I do uh, Shift-A mesh cube, uh, I'm going to scale, scale this up. Uh, you got this, you, you got your cube here, and you need to make sure by default this probably won't be in the mesh collection. So you have to, if I try to send to Unreal right now, uh, it's going to say you do not have the correct objects under the mesh or rig collections. So basically, whatever you want to export needs to be in the mesh or rig uh, collections. Um, and let me go ahead, I'll go pipeline, export, send to Unreal. The first time you do it, it's going to create a folder in your content folder. It's going to create a folder called Untitled Category. I imagine they're going to update this eventually. But inside there, there's Untitled Asset. You go in there, and then this is the cube that we just created. Um, so now that it's in your scene, any changes you make in here and re-export, it's going to automatically update those changes. So if I scale it down, and I go to Pipeline, Export, Send to Unreal, it'll automatically make those changes here. Um, so yeah, again, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very useful tool here. Uh, you can apply modifiers, so you can add a decimate modifier, for instance. 
uh, on this particular object it might not be a great great result but let's just do send unreal and again it'll update in uh, basically immediately um, all right so then the to change any settings you can go to the uh, preferences window for that pipeline and then this is where you have all the settings again I talk about all this stuff more in detail in another video so uh, I think I'm gonna call it call it a day for this let me know what you think if you have any questions if you if you get stuck trying to install it uh, I, I'll try to answer if I can and um, yeah hopefully you can get it all set up correct take care